Pardon me while I finish setting this up real quick. Hi, Bowie. How are you guys doing today? All right, let me get your chair. We have had a busy one. But that's okay. Busy is awesome. Okay, Bowie, here's your chair. I'm gonna go up. So you guys, I hope you had an awesome Halloween. You got to eat a lot of candy. And if you're still trying to treat yourself, I have a sale going on for 13% off, but today's the last day. You just have to go to my website, artistilldeath.com, and use the code BOO, B-O-O, -O, and you'll get 13% off. And that includes our brand new these. I went ahead and spray painted this one black, but it comes like this, just wood color. These two. Um, I saw your message, Sue, about your winning. Congratulations. And I just have to go back through and look and see who got what place. And then I'll send out the prizes. How is everyone doing today? Hello, TG, Shane, Sue, Susan, Gail, Tiffany, Megan, Diana, and another Susan. I hope y'all's day has been super awesome-tastic. We have just been working. I just hit the camera. My bad. So, um, these cradle boards are live on the channel right now. I only have 14 in stock, though, so... Get them while getting good. Uh, if you're new here, I'm Erica. Jeff is here. Bowie is in the co-pilot seat. And we're Artists Till Death. We go live every day, usually at 6 p.m. Central, except for on Tuesdays, it's at 2 p.m. Central. Uh, we usually do resin. However, there's days where we do alcohol inks or acrylics or airbrush or uh, crystal or glitter. So, uh, um, you never know, but it's always art and we would love to have you as a subscriber. So if you're not subscribed, please do so. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you know when we go live or post a video. And if you're already subscribed, just double check and make sure you still are because YouTube likes to be jerks sometimes and unsub us. Nope, unsub people from our channel. Anyways. Without Clara here, I have no idea how long I've been stirring resin. I'm so used to her telling me it's been three minutes. But that is okay. I'm going to stir a little bit more. And it's true, you can never have too much glitter for sure. So on this piece, I'm going to use black, red, and white. And I'll tell you what each of the colors are shortly. If you're new to resin, it's very important to mix your resin very, very well, or you may end up with weak spots, or your piece may not cure at all. That happened to me. My first one I saved for a little over two months before Jeff made me throw it away. He was like, dude, it's time to let it go. Hey, Clara, Tim. I, I really struggled finding um, 
a dragon that wasn't too dragon, but was dragon, but wasn't dragon, but was dragon. And I think this is a good um, answer to that because it's not, you know what it is when you look at it, but it's not typical dragon. So I'm very excited about it. What's up, Rumple? Thank you for hitting the like button. Hello, Melissa. Susan, I would be filling my glitter stash as well if I worked at Michael's. No shame. No shame. So majority is going to be black. And then also some red. And some white. And then I have some left over just in case we decide to add another color. Because you never know. But I'm pretty sure, but you never know. Okay, so first color I'm going to mix up is the black, and that's going to be Color Passion Black Passion. If you don't know about Color Passion Taste, you can get these, all these colors from my website, artistildeath.com, but the Passion Paste are base cell pastes, which means if you put another colored resin over it, you'll get cells in whatever color you put on top of it. For example, on this one, I'm using black passion face cell activator and also red and white. So when my red and white go over the black, then I'll end up with red or white cells. Not black, even though that's the activator. I know it's confusing, but it's a base cell. So it's gonna create cells from being under other colors. Just know that that's how it works. Um, thank you, Clara. The red I'm using is just resin red. It's a very awesome bright fire red. It's a true red, so it doesn't really go pink when you use it with white, unless you use a lot of heat with it and thin it out, then it has possibility of going pink just because when you thin out resin the likelihood of it mixing with the other colors you're using is greater because it's thinner and that's just science it's probably not science but anyways so the white I'm using is angel white from Lares. it's a pure white I'm pretty sure it's titanium based. But I like to have a color to lighten this up a little bit. I usually don't work with under three colors and I try not to work with over five colors when I art because then things get kind of convoluted and busy if I use too many colors. So I try to keep it limited. So that's our color palette. May work in some gold, but we'll see. We'll see. Also, I have a runny nose. New splash. So this cradle board is already live on the website. So if you want to take advantage of the sale that we have, uh, where today is the last day and you want to get one of these cradle boards, be one of the first people to have them, then now's your chance. Clara, you want 10 boards? I figured, and I wasn't even sure if this was a good size, but it's 15 inches. We may do some bigger ones. So I'm going to kind of haphazardly apply this resin, but just hear me out, okay, because I call this kind of a messy pour because it looks really messy and sloppy right now, but it won't when we're done with it. So 
The next one we're going to add is the red. And I'm going to go ahead and blend these colors out just a little bit before I add the white because I don't really want to have a lot of gray present. And that's likely to happen with a bunch of black and white. And I don't want to risk having pink pop up either, which is also a risk when you use red and white together. So I'm going to go ahead and get this bit out of the way before we move on. I'm trying to only get the black right now and then I'll go in with, um, I'll go in with another finger and move the red around. I know, I know. I haven't been called, I know that's what she said in a little bit, so maybe it's my time. I, in my work, I really like large patches of color, but if you prefer um, smaller lines of color, maybe a little bit what I call busier, if that's more your style, then do that. But for me, it's smaller patches of color make things busy. So if you guys have any questions and I miss them, the moderators are very knowledgeable. All right, let's do the red. How did I get black? Oh, because the black was under some parts of the red. Okay. Just fill in these little bare bits. And we'll move on with the design. How you apply this part really isn't as important. When you're just adding color to a shaped cradle board, for me, it's about doing a design that kind of accentuates the flow of the piece in general. It's not about the colors themselves. But everybody arts differently. All right, now that we have everything covered. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so I'm just going to add a bit of white just to brighten it up in no real order. Kind of like on those Halloween hangers. How about those cowboys last night? I know. They did super awesome. Very proud. Okay, so I'm going to use a heat gun with a concentrator nozzle on the end of it so that I can really focus the heat into one area. Hello, Pamela. All right. So I'm just heating up the whole thing to make sure I don't have any crazy little 
cat hairs floating and no spaces where I forgot to put resin. Then I'm just going to push the colors around. You can even use one of these. After you heat it up, that is. Which it shouldn't take too much heat because the resin isn't that old. I just mixed it when I was going live, so they're not that old. Just going to fan the color out with this handy dandy blower, which you can find on my Amazon down in the description box. If you find that everything's moving a little too, um, if it's not moving very well, then you just need to heat it up a little bit more because this is blowing not warm air. So it's cooling your resin down. And when your resin's cooler, it's thicker and it just won't flow as easily. I think I'm going to put some more white somewhere around here. I just feel like it needs it. And a little bit right here. Gonna heat it up a little bit more, make sure we didn't introduce too many folds of resin when we we're moving it around like that. Sweet. Beauty. So let's go check it out. Turn a light on. So you notice there's no black cells, even though what's making the cells is the black paste. It's everything that's on top of it making the cells. So where the black's coming over right here, there's not really any cells, whereas over here where the other colors go over it, you're getting the cells to pop up. Okay, Billy, hold on. Something about using that um, duster makes the art work flow, makes resin kind of look like acrylics a little bit. To me anyways, I could be wrong.
Lee, what do you think about my this? Oh. Looks like a symbol for like a gaming something. It does look like a game symbol, but it's a dragon. And I think it's awesome. That's good. Sweet. I'm going to take this to Dust Free Zone. Y'all, BRB. All righty. Can you stay there, little dragon? I'm sorry that was such a short live, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. That little um, review of the new cradle boards that we have in stock. I guess um, I'm gonna just do a few coasters because I have some resin left over. What do you guys think of that cradle board? What's the next one? What next shape do you think we should do that we don't carry already? Or do you guys not like that dragon? Do you prefer a different? Looking dragon. Who doesn't love a dragon? Evelyn, they're live. Um, they're live on the website right now. Is that better, TG? Okay. So we've got those colors. Let's mix a little bit more black. Somewhere, okay. They're not, okay. Two seconds. It's quite likely that I listed them and just didn't make them live. One second. So, yeah, I just didn't make it live. All right, I fixed it. It's there now. Do a cat. about a little gold? I could add gold. Well, I just put black in the rest of my resin, so I'll have to add the floating gold. Judy, I'm assuming you're talking about on a coaster and not on the dragon since he's already gone. Clara will be back in a few. Oh, yeah, because she went to get the dragons. Queen Mother of the Dragons has left the building, I guess.
So I'm going to try like a negative space flow through this. Why don't you use one of the crosses you to do what? For a video? All right. So we've got the red and the white over the black. But I really like how it looks with this thing. Looks like my red got a little diluted when I made more and I didn't add more red space. But I don't mind it being just a hint in the background. Uh, you know, I can still hear you. Well, yeah. I didn't say anything that wasn't true. You are the dragon mother. Or queen mother of the dragons. I'm going to put the white down first. That's possibly too much, but we'll see. Now we can hit it with some heat and watch the cells pop out. And those will start to expand the longer that it sits there as the resin self levels. In case you didn't know. Nope. Um, Clara, if you send me, um, like a vector, oops, all right, well, if you send me a, like a silhouette of the dragon you're talking about, you can talk to Builder about it. why most of my negative space pieces just flow the same way but they do Megan I'm pretty sure I did do one pretty sure where's my this do what what about it? I love this shirt. Evelyn, it is blue. Really love that little scallopy clamshell look. This one cells are getting big off.
And this one will do the same. I'm running out of room. Looks like we have enough for like two more. Do a red base one. Yes, the sale does end tonight. I think when I do coasters, it's for me, it's a time to kind of experiment and kind of see what else. All right, Megan, have a good night. Um, it's just a good time to experiment and see what designs you could scale up. crazy, but that's okay. Let it live for a moment. See what it does. Alright. This may be my last. This may be my last one. Possibly. So it sounds like I'm getting a lot of messages on my work computer. So if you guys are trying to get in touch with me, uh, I'm momentarily busy. Actually, what if we did a submush? Yeah, that will work. This first one that we did is kind of disappearing. So we're going to use this as the other smush. And let all the, not all of it, some come out of each side. Quarter turn, create some action. This is going to look super cool, you guys. Got this one. I'm slowly convincing myself that the easiest, most um, effective way to do fire with resin is to do smush. Because if I used fire colors, like that would look flamey. Or like a big peacock feather. These two may be my favorites, and they took the least amount of work. I'm going to take these over to the DFZ, and I'll be right back.
I'm tempted to squish these two. What do you guys think? That's a spicy paint job. Concur. What do you guys think? Or no? Or yeah? Or no? Or yes or no? Eh? 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 Bam says, remember, hit the thumbs. Hit the bell. Hit it all. All free and it helps. It does help. Okay. And let a little bit come out all the sides so we make sure that everything's in contact. And we're gonna quarter turn. Very interesting. All right, let me. See what we got here. Okay, this looks like hair or fur, rather. It'll do more as it settles, but this one is very de decadent. I almost couldn't. Say whole words. Please. I want to do it like a large smush. But I think we tried that with two 12 inch rounds and then um, I had to have help to take them apart. It would definitely have to be on a cradle board and not something flat so that you can get your hands in there so you can pull them apart because they would be stuck together for a long time. That's not dirty. We'll save that one. All right, you guys. Squish with 20 inch boards. Clara, you'd, like, you'd have to be here to help with that. That's going to take more manpower than I have. I wouldn't, like me and Jeff together may still even need help pulling 20 inch rounds apart. That would be crazy, but probably super awesome. Anyways, uh, I hope you had an awesome time. And, oh, Evelyn, which gold powder is similar to SEC gold? Which gold, Evelyn? They have a couple golds. Um, if it's a floating gold, then it would be 007. Are there any codes right now? Robin, yes. Today's the last day for code BOO, B-O-O. -O. Today's the last day to use that one. A 40 inch round would take a forklift. That is so true. Okay. Thank you guys for watching and seeing what we're up to today. We cannot tell you how much we appreciate you guys being here and watching and being our friends and our fam it really means a lot to us good luck evelyn doing uba tuba granite that's a that's a fun finish also bowie is upset because i haven't taken you guys to see him so let's take a little walk hi bubba you can get down. Can you get down. Come on. What are you doing? You know all these people just came to see you, right? Did you know that? Did you know that they just came to see what you were doing? Did you know that? Did you know that? Did you know that? I know it. So you guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't feel... Don't feel anything about hitting me up to get answers to your questions. I'm always here to help. And, um, yeah, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through.
Never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the cast. So you don't have to. You guys are amazing. We'll see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central. Bye. Bye. Lori, did you say bye? Did you say bye? Did you?